In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a pretty cool software which is absolutely free and which allows you to colorize your coloring pages just like this and at a click of a button. So, the website which I'm going to share with you is called Patalica, Patalica Paint, and you can get here by going to patalica.com. Now, this is AI-powered automatic colorization, and at a click of a button, you can colorize your coloring pages so that you can turn them into covers. Now, they do also have a how-to section, which I'll also link down in the description so you can come through and take a look. Now, what I'm going to do is just quickly run through this website, this software, so you can see how to use it. And I'm also going to share an extra tip nearer the end of the video. Now, first of all, we're going to need a coloring page to colorize. So we're going to take one of these. Now, if you want to see the rest of these coloring pages, which I have just here, I will link a video which I recently made down in the description showing you a little bit more about coloring pages and with Midjourney. So let's go ahead and take this. We're going to download. We're going to go back over to Patalica Paint. Now what we want to do is click on here and then we can choose the file or we can just take this file and drop it onto the screen. Now if you don't have a coloring page to test out, you can come up to here, click on Colorize a Sample Image, and then you can click on one of these, which they have just here. Now, we have one already, so what we're going to do, take the file, drop it on the page, and then we're just going to give it a second. Now, in a minute, what it's going to do is automatically color in the page, as we can see just here. Now, from here, we have a few different options. This has already been auto-coloured using the canner, which is just here. We can also choose Satsuki. So now if we click on there, it's going to change the colour scheme. Let's just give that a second. There we go. And there's also Tan Poo Poo, Popo. I'm not too sure how to say that. But if we click on here, we can then check out that one as well. And there we go. So we have three different auto colorize options to choose from, but over here we also have a few different options. We can click on line just here and play around with like the lines and the eraser and the different colors. If we go back onto color, we can actually go ahead and change colors. If you click on the red just here, you're going to get the color palette. So then you can then choose a color. We then have the paint option just here the eraser option and the dropper option just here along with this one as well. So if we choose a color, then click on the brush. If we paint the background like so, it's then going to color that in over here. Now let's just give that a second. We can see there we go. Now if we do that side as well, it will also do that. Now is this an amazing piece of software? Honestly, no it's not. But if you quickly want to colorize one of your coloring pages, then it's going to save you so much time. Now, as we can see, that's what it looks like. If we don't like that, we can click on here, click undo, we can click undo again, and then it's going to revert back to the previous settings, like so. Now, one thing to note, and that is that the quality isn't really that great when using this software. But I am going to show you a trick where you can make it better quality. So if we scroll down a little bit, let's go to download. Let's just give that a second. Now let's open this file. We can see that's really not good quality at all, and it wouldn't be good enough to use on a cover. Now if we go ahead to the file, let's click on here, and let's go to get info. Now if we look just here, it's only 512 by 666. So we really want to increase that and increase the quality. So what I like to use is called Big JPEG. This is an upscaler and it's also very affordable. Now what we're going to do is take this file, we're going to drag it into here, then we're going to click start and we're going to do a 4x. Now once we click OK, 
we can just give that a second then once it's done we can have a look at the difference in quality and there we go so now let's click on download let's give that a second as well now let's open this and put that next to the original so this is the one from Petalica and as we can see it's not that great quality and then this is the one which we've upscaled so as you can see there's a hell of a lot of difference and you really need to upscale this if you actually want to use it for print now if we zoom in on this one we can see just how pixelated it actually is if we come onto here we can see it's a lot better quality when we zoom in so that's just one way that you can upscale the image another way is to use vectorizer.ai now i recently made a video about this i'll also link that down in the description as well but if you come over if you take your colorized image and drop that into vectorizer like so then also give it a second or two this vectorizer is going to turn your colorized coloring page into a vector so if we now zoom in we can see it's also much better quality and it's not going to be pixelated then once you want that you just click on download then you have a few different options to choose from this is something that they recently added but for simplicity of this video we're just going to click on download making sure it is an svg you do now have the option for an eps or pdf but we want to go with svg we click download and then we also have an svg as well so that's how you can easily colorize your coloring pages in case you want to turn them into coloring book covers so come through try this out i will link this down in the description so it's a little bit easier for you to check it out and if you liked this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up also consider subscribing for more future videos just like this and to watch the rest of my AI videos, click right here and watch this playlist.